Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing and showing you an install on plugging head ports. Um, direction section motor for this example we're going to do N55. It also works for N54s, B58s, a um, couple other platforms being that we do mostly BMWs here. This is what we're discussing is all on the BMW platform and reasons why. There's, there's a few reasons why you would do this. Um, in our example that we're doing, we switch to a billet valve cover, which eliminates the factory PCV. So we'll have to go external and plug these ports and build our own PCV system so that it doesn't interfere with it and things of that nature. Examples though is any car that's going to run port injection, such as we are here. If you look, your head port is right here, right next to the runner. And then our injector is here also. And so when it's spraying fuel, that space is very, very small and limited. So if that port is open, you're gonna be atomizing fuel, it's gonna bounce back up through the head port and it will wash out the oil, therefore can lead to spun bearings and things of that nature if you're running E85 and can cause you a bunch of problems. So you don't want any of that. <laughs> so for what we're gonna do before we get super deep into it, the valve cover's already removed. I am going to pull the intake manifold so that we can protect the valves and not drop any metal shavings while I'm tapping. So we'll tap the port, put Loctite on these, screw them in flush where they don't interfere with the gasket, and we'll proceed with reinstalling the cover, um, plumbing our PCV setup, and we'll go from there. All right, um, so we went ahead and pulled the intake manifold off, got everything prepped. I put towels down in each one of the um, ports so that we don't get any shavings in there. I will also put grease on my tap as I'm using that so that it help me collect some of the shavings. And then of course we'll vacuum everything out after I do each hole. Now, the kit came with 10 30 seconds um, tap and fittings, but that did not work. It was entirely too small. So we had to resort to getting our own. So I found a quarter 20 fits really well on this block. Tap, standard stuff, nothing special. And then we just went to the local hardware store and got Allen plugs match that size and I've done a test fit on one already just to make sure that I was happy with it so now we will continue on with the other cylinders and get this thing knocked out nice and flush kind of I'm not gonna say that you can't mess this up because <laughs> um, if you're aggressive and it's like bull in a china cabinet then sure you could or you could snap a tap off but the tap will naturally if you let it it will naturally fall in the direction of the porthole and the plugs we chose are eight millimeters in length as well. Quarter 20, eight millimeter length. You'll be all right on N55. The one that's tricky on these, and I ran into it on N54s as well, is the one back. Because it actually, instead of kind of going straight, or like these do, it's more this way. So you do have to be careful on this one. Grease help catch my shavings. Wipe it off, use a combination of brake clean and get all these off and get ready to do the next one. Okay, uh, now that we're done with officially plugging the ports part, the valve cover is ready to go back on. I've got the intake on, the charge pipe on, and I'm going to turn that part back over to Gage um, since he pulled it off. We're also going to pull the plugs when we have it. Gage 3D printed a really nice mount for these. That they're fully magnetic, so they hold the brand new plugs. They also hold the old plugs. They are for sale. We'll drop the link in the description and then as far as our cover we did go with a Vargas uh, this is the full billet version that they offer so again no PCB we had to switch to external which is why we plug the head ports and we'll get that thing slot back on run our own um, check valves and things of that nature for our catch can system then we'll uh, get you guys caught up to speed once it's all back on All right, now Gage has finished installing the intake manifold. It is back on the white car. 
and I don't know if we've updated you since this happened. This might explain it a little bit. It has a muffler. I know one of the biggest complaints people had about this car was that it was just so loud. So, so loud. So, we got the VRSF muffler put back on this thing, and now it's uh, a bit more of a daily. This thing sounds so good now, listen. So much more turbo noise. Perfect. So that's pretty much it for this one. We got it all back together and um, this thing's officially ready to rip again. So maybe in some upcoming videos, we'll get this thing back out on the streets. I would say the tune is pretty much fully done on this thing and big 64, 66 turbo tucked down there is uh, ready to go. As always, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.